How we determine whether or not somebody is qualified is based on some very specific behavior. So we changed the interview process. So we still obviously take their resume and go through the interview process, but we also give them a little project. And the project is as simple as take something that you care about and tell us how you would redesign the experience. And what we want to do is, by giving them something that they're passionate about, it takes them out of their discomfort zone. And we have had everything from, you know, my favorite one was changing the process of betting on a horse at the track. And we hired her because when she came back, it was, it was, it was well thought out. But what, what happens is they become very passionate and they forget that they should be nervous, they forget that they should couch their, their responses. And we get very natural responses that aren't, um, that aren't restricted in any way. And so we see two things with that. One, I need to know that the people I hire can present under pressure, first of all, because that's a huge part of, of what we do. But the other thing is I need to know when we remove the barriers and let them talk about something that they care about, how do they think about that problem? Because really the skill sets that we need now that are very important in tech, it's great to specialize in something, but we really need people who can take a broader view. The way we get a more diverse workforce is with recruiting. Um, we recruit from various organizations. Um, one is the Twigo organization, and this is overall Carlisle, um, or an organization called SEL. Um, within IT, Specifically, I recruit from an organization called Year Up, which is a workforce development organization that helps underprivileged kids for a year learn a technical skill, and then I take them on as interns um, for six months, and if I actually really like them at the internship, then we'll actually hire them, and then we'll work with them so they can go further to get their education, to get their, their full four-year degree. Um, so that's a very good program that we use to kind of help with our diversity numbers, but to also bring us good talent, you know, within the IT organization. Um, some other things that have been very helpful with recruiting in a, um, a diverse organization is ensuring that you have a diverse panel um, of people who are interviewing uh, the new uh, prospective employee um, and that we actually bring in a diverse slate of people who are being interviewed. And we don't have a diverse slate. Sometimes I have to hold it and say, you know what, let's wait until we you know, get a much more better slate of people. Let's not just go for the first person all the time. But it depends on what that job is. We have to fill it right away or if we have time to kind of wait for that. I think we have to be very careful about what we write in a position description. Um, at my level, I often find myself picking up the phone and calling people um, with whom I've worked, um, people who are, you know, I work with the executive recruiting community, obviously, and their connections, and we end up um, being able to cherry pick talent. Um, and that's, you know, we're very fortunate that we're able to do that. Um, however, in many cases, there are senior positions that have a, a key role for us in, in the transformation we're trying to achieve. And, and the talent pool is, just by its very nature, um, is small. So we need to write the description such that it just doesn't describe what our needs are, because our needs are kind of the same as everyone else's needs. We need to write the description such that it appears to be something that will fulfill the candidate's need as well. Something that the candidate will aspire to do should be reflected in that position description. So then when you think about, okay, how do I, how do I entice a diverse set of candidates to apply? Well, we have to think about things that are universal. What does everyone want to do, pretty much? You know, what does everyone want to achieve, and so on. But then we also have to, to include things that maybe will appeal to certain segments of the population, and um, maybe in one paragraph, and other segments of the population in another paragraph. I think earlier you mentioned um, this notion of uh, you know people people advertising for a coding ninja, you know, <laughs> and you know maybe I don't think we've actually used the word coding ninja, but maybe we could you know put something along those lines. But then the next minute we put something that's you know more inclusive of another group.